In this video, I'll share with you the pros and cons of working for a startup versus a big tech company so you can make a more informed decision about your next role. Let's get started. So as far as startups go, there are a lot of pros that come with working at a startup. Usually, you'll really quickly see your code in production, which is great because you'll get a lot of quick feedback and you'll be able to iterate and develop what you're working on much more quickly. It's also potentially easier to level up in the company as there's not as much of a formal structure yet and there are usually many opportunities for new leaders to take roles. There are also lots of opportunities for learning. Usually with a startup, the code base is a lot more contained and you'll be able to go through all of the code that's relevant to your company and have a greater chance of understanding everything that's going on. So with startups, there are a lot of pros as far as leadership and growth go. However, there are some cons that come with startups. Your teammates and your methods and your general structure is constantly shifting and changing. Now this can be great, but sometimes I find that startups spend a lot of time working on the actual procedures more so than the actual work itself. You do invest a lot of time in changing these procedures and with working with folks who you might not necessarily be working with a few weeks and months down the line. Another major con of startups is that there are a lot of emergencies. As you're building and developing very quickly, sometimes things get missed or there aren't procedures set in place to account for certain scenarios. So if you're working for a startup, the work-life balance might not be the greatest. Finally, a major con of startups is that there is a much higher risk of being laid off. A lot of startups don't succeed, and as a result, you might find yourself working for a company for only a few months before they have to lay you off. On the other side, we have big tech companies. Now with big tech companies, you'll usually find that you have much greater job security and usually a bigger salary. Whether that comes in the form of cash or stock options or things like that, there are usually a lot more financial incentives to go with a bigger company versus a startup. There are also usually a lot more perks, you know, better healthcare plans, maybe a nice office with free meals, opportunities to travel to other office and work with your team, and also usually budgets for learning and conferences. So there are usually a lot of perks right off the bat when you work for a big company. You'll also notice that more established companies usually have a very clear path to promotion and salary increase, so you don't find yourself guessing as you go through the review process every year. Finally, with big companies, you'll usually have a much better work-life balance as you won't find troubling code going to production as quickly due to the potentially high-risk nature of whatever you're working on because bigger companies have usually more users or just due to the fact that there are more procedures already put in place to prevent any errors from slipping through and getting into production. 